Hi, in uh, this video we're going to show how to inject uh, custom data or classes into the startup class so that they can be registered in the dependency injection and then used in your controllers or wherever you want them. So we're going to go ahead and create a new uh, standard ASP.NET Core uh, web project with MVC. We'll choose a uh, web API. Okay, so here's the standard project with the controllers values. And for demonstration purposes, we're going to say, let's see, I think we need to add launch settings. Where is that? Okay. In here. So you can do this in two ways. You can either uh, edit the launch and you can add command arguments to the JSON file. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it through the GUI. So just go open up the properties for the web application. If you go down here and click uh, debug and select the web app, we're just gonna pass uh, ABC, one, two, three. Doesn't really matter. Go ahead and save that. And you can see that it, ah, it updated the command line args for the web application uh, right here. And okay, so now the issue that I described in the article is those arguments are going to be available in the program, but what I would actually like is to be able to return ABC123 uh, in this controller. So how are we going to do that? Um, as I mentioned in the article, the trick is to actually call configure services before you call it in the startup. I guess it's not, at least it wasn't to me, clear that uh, this method can be called whenever at different app points in the application lifecycle and all it does is configure the uh, IOC container, but it doesn't mean it can only be called in the startup class. So we'll see, it's already adding things like uh, Insights telemetry and MVC, but we'll be adding our own. So let's go ahead and add a new folder for our custom classes. We'll just call it custom. We're adding a new interface. Uh, let's see. Make this public. I'll have I don't know some some string. And an integer. Uh, these will represent the two different values we're getting from the command line. And I guess we don't need any of that stuff. Let's go add the concrete implementation. This will implement the uh, custom class interface. Okay, so now we got uh, any class just whatever shape we think we need to hold the information we're going to pass to our, our, con, our constructor. So then in the program JSON, we'll get the arguments. String. I, th I think it was the first. Uh, and
Uh, hopefully that works. So right here we are saying whenever someone requests an instance of iCustomClass, give them the instance we're going to create right here. Just going to use object initializer to set these values. Cool. And I think we need to add there we go. One more dependency. Uh, we'll remove the unnecessary ones and move that up. Okay, so notice how we've called configure services before we've called startup. And so if you actually look at the internals of the code when they invoke startup, uh, they have already used the same technique to add like iLogger factory, iHosting environment, and iApplication builder lifetime. So we're just doing the same thing that the source is doing. Um, so yeah, now we need to update our startup class. And this is just kind of to prove that it is available in startup, but it also could be available in the controller as well. So. So you can add it to the constructor and the configure, but you cannot add it to configure services. This one has to be a method with a single argument, as far as I remember. So we can add some, some breakpoints here for the future. And then we'll go ahead and update the constructor of this controller. Hopefully this works. Let's add our breakpoint in the constructor. So here it opened up the website. Oh, and it looks like we have, oh, we're loading some symbols. Okay, let's uh, let's close this module window, make more space. So you can see here we've already gotten past. Oh, I must have already passed the program. Ah, that's okay. Anyways, in the startup class, yep, we have an instance of it, ABC one two three. Let's actually restart so we can hit those other breakpoints. So inside main, <coughs> see we have the arguments that are passed in because we configured the launch settings, converted those, and we are registering our new class with those values, and then they become available to inject into the startup. Now normally you would use this kind of uh, lower level iCustom class and instruct a new, uh, maybe more important object to go into your controller, but we could just use the same one for now. Uh, let's cancel this. So now if we go back to the website and refresh API values to see we created an instance of the controller for the requests. Again, we have the values and it returns 
those two strings, A, B, C, one, two, three. And there you go. That's how we can inject custom data into the startup class and make it available anywhere else.